now. I don't think it yes, has started. Yes, I think it's recorded. Ah, it started. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, I will have 10 minutes to just introduce our friends, uh, our leaders, Dr. Sanika and Dr. Ali. They have been very beneficial for all the team of past May. And thank God they have succeeded already yesterday and made the whole group happy. So uh, I will ask them to help me in admitting our friends so we can uh, give the orientation first. And we'll yes, discuss. Yes, I will handle that. Thank you. So we are here gathered together to talk about the MRCS. So how to master the MRCS. This is all about our group and this is all about in our orientation. There are some topics that have to come in your mind and questions that have to be answered. What is MRCS? Why you take MRCS? What is the exam style? And what is your study plan? And when to start it exactly? And there are many, many study materials, like millions. And your friends and your colleagues will ask you, please send me the data. And the data contains millions and millions of files. So where to find it? Is it with your friend or with a secret bank? Or what is it? And who is Fauzia, this famous uh, MRCS participant and notes? And what not to do? is a very important topic in our orientation today and our friends i will ask them to share their experience from their fresh exam what they faced why they could have done better to make their exam uh, better experience for even themselves and other candidates and the must topics that come in the exam even if they don't come the same question format like copy and paste but the same school and what are the pass rate for the exam and if you are needing a course or not and if you have any question in your mind you can write it in the comments and we will discuss them together and after the orientation we are going to think for with me and dr seneca and dr ali you can uh, have the discussion open wide i hope that's it so what is the mrcs and how to submit for it the MRCS is a surgical diploma, just surgical diploma. You can take it to certify yourself. If you are good on something, just certify yourself. How to submit for it? You can go online for the online site and follow the steps. You will find your college there and pay. Once you pay, you have your exam. It's pure business for the intercollegiate, whatever it takes for them. So this is the MRCS. Why you take MRCS? Some take the MRCS for uh, immigration, for uh, improving their skills, for certification of their self. Some take it not to be a surgeon. Some take it just to have a GMC registration and travel to the UK. Some surgeons take it because it's accredited in their countries and the countries they want to travel to. So make sure this certificate is important. Where are you going to use it? Otherwise, you are wasting your money. And of course, we all know that MRCS after COVID, it's now regular in its places. Previously, it was in January, April, and September. Now, it's not January, April, and September. It's January and May and September. And today, we have our May team great leaders. So, is there any difference between the college in MRCS Party A or B regarding... Edinburgh, England, Ireland, whatever, even Glasgow, there is no difference. It's intercollegiate. Intercollegiate means the same exam is taken at the same time for all the candidates of the four colleges. But in fact, by experience, England are too lazy to reply to the candidates, while Edinburgh, it requires many certifications and many paperwork, yet they are on time with your uh, queries. They always reply. This is the whole point between Edinburgh and England, in fact, and in real life. But make sure any of those colleges open the exam in your uh, in your country. So why MRCS? Again, we talked. For example, let's ask Dr. Sanika. I know you are. You told me you are cardio surgeon, cardiothoracic surgeon. So, why you take RCS? 
since I wanted to pursue my journey in UK as a surgeon, I chose MRCS. With the help of MRCS, uh, you don't have to start at uh, the foundation course level. You can move to the speciality training level, ST3. And uh, that means you are kind of uh, practicing in the same way like you did in your home country. That's why it's better to give MRCS. And second of all, you don't have to focus on the general subjects like obstetrics or forensics and stuff. It is all surgery related. So uh, for surgeons, it will be easier to uh, crack this exam and relate to the concepts. That was my main reason. That's great. How about you, Dr. Ali? Why you took MRCS? Why you eager to take this uh, exam and paid for it? First, actually, uh, surgery was uh, was a passion for me since uh, year one in college. So I planned for this uh, uh, to be the efficient way. I chose MRCS. I chose MRCS for um, for uh, for a, a path to, to to get training in um, in UK. And it's it's actually a, a, a respected their certificate in Egypt, so I can I can start it uh, as early as uh, as the intern year here. Uh, we call it in Egypt or house officer, or uh, we can call it uh, the foundation year in UK. It's all the same. It's an uh, it's an uh, an important start for me actually, um, and I saw it as an efficient way to get surgery or to get into surgery especially orthopedic. Hello? You orthopedic surgeon? Can you hear me? I'm an intern actually. Intern in Saad Kafefi Hospital. That's a great. University. That's a great. So MRCS has variety of benefits. Make sure that these benefits are meeting your ambition. For me, I took MRCS not to immigrate, nor to uh, go any anywhere, just to provide me a higher certificate and higher title, because it's like the membership of the Royal College. It's a high name. For other surgeons, they want to have their training, like Dr. Sanika in UK. And others, they are not surgeons at all. They just take MRCS just to go to the UK because it will give them a backdoor to GMC registration and go for a service job. And what is service job? It's like a shift, paid shift to be paid there to work as a doctor. While the training job is like a training course, they are responsible for your training. This is what is all about the MRCS. Just keep in mind while you are taking this exam. So now, what is the exam style format? I have a long story, we'll make it short. Previously, this was the exam format. I was the last one who examined his exam like this in a paper format, a public sheet. After this, it was just online. Like our online meeting today, you are formal up there and going to have your exam from your home. But it had many flaws and many problems because many candidates try to break the system. So nowadays it's famous with like these centers, like you have examined in these centers like this, Dr. Sanika, right? Dr. Sanika and Dr. Ali, the centers like yeah. this? Yes, like this. Yes, exactly. Like this. Less crowded actually, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you like it crowded or not? <laughs> It will not, not crowded. There is not no crowded. time to look around. Uh, I'll concentrate. Yes. So now in the centers, and they make sure uh, this is for now, uh, there have been problems with the seats. The seats are very limited, but don't depend on this track. Some depending on this track, the seats are limited with the person view after registration of the exam. Uh, one month before the exam, I think, person view giving you the opportunity to registration and uh, find a seat in your country. And some depend that they will not find uh, a seat and postpone your exam. Uh, but take care with every uh, exam passing. As more seats are opening and more centers. It's a business for them. So don't depend on this track. Otherwise, you would lose your money. Uh, like I have uh, uh, many friends from many countries uh, asking me yesterday that they have been 
absent market absent in their mark and you can find their posts on our main facebook group this is all about the uh, message me and found that they depended on this track take care okay uh, the exam style format it has 300 questions and make sure in those 300 questions to be answered in a regular row 300 minute question so it's like a marathon five hours exam if you haven't taken it before make sure it's not your first time in the exam it's divided into two or three papers dr seneca two papers so it's still 180 in the first paper and 120 in the second paper yes it's still the same yes so it's clear 180 is greater than 120 so the main bulk in the first paper which is the basic science most of the friends who didn't pass yesterday they didn't make the vault of their mark in the first paper the second paper is like hell always since the paper mm -hmm. format even the online format and with the center format your mark vault and your bank in your score in this exam is in the first paper. Do you agree with me, Dr. Sanika, Dr. Ali? Yes, I agree. Uh, many people face difficulties with paper two, but that's a normal thing because uh, paper one is uh, having short questions, like very direct questions related to anatomy, physiology. So you don't have to spend a lot of time reading those questions. Wherein in paper two, you have proper scenarios and uh, in the may exam there were actually very nicely formed scenarios that we will discuss about in the coming session so that's why people face problems in the paper too but that is fine it is doable you will be able to manage in those 120 minutes that's great how about you dr ali can you tell us uh, your experience before, you? before starting i was i was really anxious i was uh, going into ultra performance uh, mode uh, i was preparing for the wars uh, but uh, actually in paper one the questions are really simple uh, direct uh, I, I, the, the longest one you can find was uh, barely two lines um, actually I was uh, I was uh, going too fast but at the time was uh, really 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 uh, enough for me I, I mean, um, at the last, uh, at the last uh, 30 minutes uh, there was uh, actually left for me like uh, 10 questions that's not the normal you are a super surgeon super surgeon yes, award thank for you, you, sir. Dr. Ali. <laughs> thank you sir it was like uh, the stress and anxiety actually <laughs> just that's make sure like easy for me actually the 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 mocks uh, uh, dr mushoi made was really uh, helpful and and efficient uh, it was it had the, the the really important basic knowledge you, you can you can find actually it's a combination of EMRCS and pass test and actually on exam it was really really helpful for me thank you and we'll get to the source of the exam soon so make sure that you understand that the MRCS exam have a special format a constant format we had 180 questions yet they are constant you have 75 question pure anatomy and guess what it will not focus on embryology and make a nightmare of embryology in your exam you will find that those 75 question pure anatomy are divided into thorax abdomen pelvis perineum upper limb lower limb and the spine and guess what even the abdomen you will have subcategories for the marks you have the abdominal wall and cavity the abdominal viscera and the vessels so it's not a nightmare of anatomy. Can you find where is the embryology in all of this? Guess what? Don't make a doctoral degree in embryology in your MRCS study routine. Otherwise, you are losing your mind and losing your marks. We have Dr. Seneca and Dr. Ali. They are fresh from the exam. How many embryology questions did you face? Pure embryology questions do you remember in your exam? And you have collected the records almost from your record and your memory. Dr. Seneca, share with me. Do you remember how many embryology questions pure? Uh, not many. Ali, if I'm not wrong, it was, they were like two or three, right? Like pure, it was related to pharyngeal arches and things like that. It was not much. Ali? Can, 
I can barely they... remember five Yeah, five barely. Questions. Barely remember five questions, actually. Mainly the, the pharyngeal arches uh, yes. was really important. Uh, but the rest uh, uh, was, um, was two, it was two, main, fetal two, circulation. Main, two main topics. Yes, uh, fetal circulation. And mainly, mainly it was pharyngeal arches. Yeah, pharyngeal what? arches is something you can do. Ah, Shabir, you can answer. We have one more uh, May candidate with us. Can How can I unmute him? Shabir Hassan, who has raised his hand. He is oh. also a very great help. Shabir, you can unmute yourself and talk. Shabir, can you hear us? You are now okay, unmuted. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Shapir. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The most of the questions of embryology from arches and pouches. So, uh, yeah, and from her one one question. Your voice is not right. that clear, Dr. Shapir. Hello. It's uh, cutting off. Make you sure mm -hmm. you are yeah, yeah. in a good internet uh, coverage. Mo most of the question of embryology from yeah, yeah. Um, most of the question uh, of embryology from uh, arches and pouches. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's the point. Is clear. And guess hello? what? Do you see this note? Everyone watching this hello? right now. Uh, the mark distribution. This mark are distribution you, is not my creation. Me? Yes, we heard you, Dr. Shapir, and you informed us yeah. very clearly regarding the embryology. Yes, hello. It was about the pharyngeal arch mostly. Hello. We can hear you. Maybe there is some internet issues. So I want to make sure you see this mark distribution is not a secret. It's not my creation. It's an official declaration from the Royal College itself. So the exam have a school. It's not a secret. Yeah, uh, it's not officially secret. It's not Dr. Sanika. It's not Dr. Okay. Shapir. Uh, not Dr. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the question from embryology was from arches and pouches. That's clear, very clear. And that's what can we see in the mark distribution. See how many embryology related question? It's maximum eight question. And the eight question are already categorized and you have thorax one at least perineum one at least head and neck one at least and guess what what can be asked in the embryology except for the pharyngeal pouches and etc so don't make your nightmare with yourself don't create your own demon and again this mark distribution is your key for the exam to believe that it's legit and it's actual in the exam what you face for example for me, as a surgeon, as Dr. Bishoy, I don't like physiology at all. Except that MRCS made me think logic, that we have 45 questions in physiology. And those 45 questions are not my nightmare in the ECG and the ABG, even they are my mark bold because they are a must questions exam. The 45 questions are already categorized in the cardiovascular system, respiratory, gastrointestinal, urinary, endocrine, and neurological system. So we have our candidate. Let's make sure that this is happened in the exam. Dr. Sanika, this distribution, you find it legit regarding your exam? Yeah, it is legit. Like you will not, uh, you don't have to be scared about physiology because not all the questions are going to come from one system. It's going to be dispersed. You will find very different questions and they are going to be very common. So you don't have to go into the depth of physiology by opening a thousand pages textbook or anything. You don't have to do that. About the resources, we will talk in the coming session. But this is actually the legit uh, mark distribution. How about you, Dr. Ali? I can totally agree. Uh, this is a quite precise uh, mark distribution. Uh, I, 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 so I faced it in the exam. Mainly, uh, I, I, I can advise that res the respiratory uh, system physiology was a, a bit, uh, bit harder for me. But mainly, uh, the, the distribution was uh, quite balanced. 
um, uh, the, the questions were uh, were focusing on the basic, basic principles of physiology, not going into much much digging the, uh, deeper into the um, the complicated physiology. It's, you know, it's just asking about the basics. That's great. Uh, how about the very beloved topic, the stats, the statistics? How many questions do you face and you remember from your exam, Dr. Sanika? I can totally remember uh, about numbers six needed to treat the numbers needed to treat questions. <laughs> Maximum six oh, questions. Oh, this is the happy question already. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you will always. The happy question was there in January also, and it repeated in May exam. Both the times it was there. It is their favorite question. Yes, it was the infamous it's question. It's a secret between us. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> How about you, Dr. Shabir? I'd like to hear from you. What is your uh, point regarding physiology and regarding the stats in your exam? And make sure you have a good internet coverage. Dr. Shabir? If you are with us. So, I guess he is facing some problem. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Are Hello? you listening me? Yes, clearly. Would be happy to hear from you. Hello? Gee, uh, are you listening? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, the schedule provided by RCS is strictly followed by them. Uh, what I noticed in exam there, uh, embryology question. The embryology question they mostly pick from the arches, pouches, and clefts. Everyone should know this by fingertip and car and heart embryology. If you uh, if, uh, you guys uh, clear that part, so you um, guys almost done with the embryology. So I suggest do smartly and everything by superficial common thing. You know about everything. And yeah, uh, the schedule which I provided by them is uh, are they following very uh, strictly what I noticed in exam. Um, the question they have uh, mentioned uh, what how many questions from which chapter are uh, which portion uh, they have followed this. That's a great, Dr. Shabir. How about the stats? Do you remember how many question statistics did you face in the exam? No. We will be so happy to have everyone contributing. Just uh, make sure uh, that you five, have four. good internet coverage. Okay, so let's move on and go to paper two. Regarding paper two, the nightmare. The nightmare have a track. Uh, regarding this mark distribution, it has a track be aware of. Regarding paper two, no one have entered MRCS exam and said anything other than that paper 2 is just pure orthopedics and the trauma and vascular surgery questions it's like orthopedic nightmare vascular surgery nightmare and the trauma nightmare am i correct am i right or not dr sanika yes dr bishoy absolutely right but uh, if someone will focus on the basic guidelines you can get out of that nightmare and it, you can actually enjoy those questions so during your preparation, don't just look at the question and try to remember the answer. Try to look for the actual guidelines. There are ATLS guidelines out there. You follow that and uh, just remember the concept. Based on that, you can tackle all of these orthopedics, emergency, trauma type of questions. How did you find the exam uh, in your paper to Dr. Ali? Was it orthopedic and trauma? You are an orthopedic surgeon, you say. So it's uh, for you, it's uh, like the heaven, not that the nightmare. It's, it was actually the orthopedic part was really, really um, easy for me. But the the uh, the, the full uh, picture was it was a nightmare actually. The paper two was um, uh, the questions were were long. You 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 should have the basic or the basic concept in your mind prepared uh, uh, before reading the question or uh, before trying to answer it uh, to save time 
if you don't have the key concept, uh, you will struggle actually. The questions were basically directed to the basic initial treatment, basic uh, or best initial treatment, best uh, best uh, proper management, uh, the best initial investigation. It was actually oh. directed to the guidelines, not the, the depth of surgeries on the techniques of surgeries. It was actually for the, the basics and guidelines. So from your words, I can find that the paper two was trickier regarding the main tracks of the exam we are insisting on regarding our sessions and our routine the best yes, sure. management and the best treatment and the definitive treatment and the best management are not the same there is a difference between first to do and the definitive management this is the whole trick regarding paper two he is seeing how your mindset is going to think he needs you to think not to give him a, a brilliant surgeon but here I want to highlight something. Can you see the market distributions that are official by the English people that the orthopedic questions are seven? Do you agree with me? Of course not. It's not seven question at all. So how come they are deceiving us? No, because the orthopedic surgery is actually will be overlapping with anatomy, preoperative, postoperative, the pathologies of the orthopedics, it's a bone, but have pathologies. It has a physiology, the bone metabolism, what it will be. So it's overlapping with every chapter. That's why you can find easily paper two be overlapping and manipulating you with the orthopedic. This is the whole thing all about. That's why if we get back to the pathology, you will find it 37 question. Yet you will find that the pathology is the biggest chapter in your study routine. And guess what? In our interactive guide, we're giving you three days only. And some ask me in private, Dr. Bishoy, are you really in your mind, aren't you crazy enough to give us only three days for the pathology, more than 300 papers to read? And guess what? The pathology is like your revision for all of those. And I'm taking this step ahead about the sources regarding how to study because from now I want you to believe this overlapping is the track in your exam. You are studying for the exam and in your life, not for MRCS only. And regarding the MRCS, when they are telling you that orthopedic question is seven questions, there will be pure seven orthopedic questions, but overlapping with other questions. Like, for example, the pediatric surgery. It's already overlapping with many chapters, like the orthopedics itself and the embryology, as well as the anatomy. All of these pediatrics. Yet, if we find the pediatric, how many questions for pediatric? I can barely see. So take care. And by the way, it's not by the Balkans and the importance of the question. Many make a nightmare for themselves regarding the stomas. How many stoma questions came in your exam, Dr. Seneca? I don't even think even one came. No stoma That's question. the point. And yeah. many non-general surgeons make a nightmare. I can't understand the stoma yet. It's very simple. It's a very simple concept. If you understand the concept, you can answer it like a knife in the cheese, knife in a butter. Dr. Ali, do you remember? You are orthopedic surgeon. So I, I'm sure you are having this nightmare from the stomas whenever it gets in your exam. Did you have any question regarding the stoma in your exam? This was Can you really remember? unbelievable, but, uh, but there, is, there was no uh, stoma questions, actually, I can remember. So no even if questions. a question came, it will be one or two. So don't exactly. waste your time the message from this market distribution is not a reaction about something you read i want to read it with you that we have gastrointestinal disease they have seven questions and guess what they aren't all about the stomas so don't fear the stoma care at all just focus on the preoperative and postoperative preparation which is overlapping with every and each chapter in the specialties of the surgery this is how you make your mindset hope this made it clear and gave you hope clear so 
دکتر سانیکا دکتر علی ریگاردنگ دیس پوائنٹ اف مارکت ڈسٹریبیوشن ڈو یو ہیو اینی ایڈیشنز اور اینی اف اور فرینڈز ہو جوائن دی ایگزام وونٹ ریز دیر ہینڈ اینڈ گیو اینی ایڈیشنز ان دیس مارکت ون ایڈوائز ٹو گیو ٹو اور کینڈیڈیٹس دیٹ دس مارکت ڈسٹریبیوشن is covering all the topics so when you are studying a particular topic for example we were talking about stomas do not try to do your doctorate in stomas don't go very deep because uh, if you noticed we didn't even get a single question on stomas just know your basic concept and uh, believe that you know the concept and try to uh, give it to your friends like like try to teach your friends the same concept when you will teach someone this concept you will remember it better and you will not have to worry about it at the end for revision and uh, thinking that i'll forget this topic no if you learn and if you teach it you will be able to retain it better i totally agree with you dr sanika you have to be as a surgeon my mentor told me to see one do one and teach one this is what is all about regarding surgery So let's move on. And what is the exam study plan? What is your exam study plan, Dr. Sanika? Can you tell it regarding your experience? My study plan study was the for three months or six months or else. Okay, so uh, this was my second attempt. In the first attempt, uh, I was kind of lost uh, since I was doing my independent studying. I used to just uh, read by myself, solve questions by myself. There was no motivation. during my first attempt but in the second attempt i found dr bishoy and i found his interactive guide which is actually interactive because you can find everything over there you can find the topic that you have to study uh, you can find the resources that you have to follow and also the mocks so it helped me uh, uh, gain that pace i would always uh, be in a hurry to quickly quickly finish that topic and then conduct my discussions with the may sub group that is how uh, this interactive schedule helped me and uh, i think 3 months are more than enough if you dedicate 3 to 4 hours on a daily basis and that 3 to 4 hours should include talking to your colleagues uh, like take me seriously you cannot do this alone you need people with you who will motivate you who will push you forward and also you will do the same for your colleagues it should not be like only one way it should be both the ways you and your colleagues you are there for your colleagues your colleagues are there for you that is how it works this is the spirit of the musketeers one for all and all for one and you have been a true leader dr sanika for the whole team you have inspired me myself You are such a great surgeon and a great leader indeed. How about you, Dr. Ali? Can you share with us your experience regarding your study plan? How long did you take for uh, preparation for MRCS? And please feel free. It's not important. It's not pushing you to uh, promote the interactive guide. It's just a way. Just want to understand how it goes and your experience. Oh, yes. I was not promoting. I was just, uh, I am very happy. that uh, the way things went i had imagined it to go this way uh, when i started studying for my may exam so i am actually not promoting it's just my excitement that's coming out in the form of promotion but it's not a promotion it is it is all my experience and my love for dr bishoy and for all that he has done for me you have a secret uh, keep promoting but don't tell anybody okay keep promoting don't tell anybody it's our <laughs> little secret okay okay <laughs> <laughs> so dr ali how was your preparation for mrcs okay i will i will i will talk as honest as as possible i was fresh grad actually uh since uh six since seven, seven months since eight, seven months eight months actually uh i was struggling uh to find the right material the right uh, guide uh, uh, so many of my friends were were um, were uh, advising me to take courses but i preferred uh, the 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 self independent uh, actually independent uh, study study plan i tried first digging uh, by myself but it was not really efficient 
So uh, I I I um, I I saw the our I, I found the, the 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 interactive guide, and it, it was actually helpful for me. I, I I'm not promoting promoting, but it was a life saving for me, from my perspective. It directed me to where to start, to where to uh, begin. Um, it's more uh, it's more of a, a, a system you can you can follow, not a, a basic plan. You can uh, guide yourself too. Uh, I, I'm not I, I'm not a, a, a superhuman or genius, but I'm a hard worker actually. So um, it helped me to uh, study efficiently more than uh, than digging deep into the basic to the principles of surgeries or, or the operations. I was lost on the first. But um, you, if you if you if you follow it for uh, for four months. It will be really efficient if you cut the the lost time. So that's great. From your words, I can um, understand that you promote the four months plan rather than a crash plan in three months. That's what you have followed. Yes. But how about a long term study like six months or a year? It's it's for the you not the not the exam for preparation. I started again yeah, as as, uh, mm -hmm. as not exam directed. Actually, I was I, my surgery was my passion, uh, and I love uh, knowing more. I use Bailey. I use so many textbooks, but this is not efficient for the exam uh, exam way or uh, not exam directed. It's for the the knowledge for myself. But in the exam way uh, or the exam directed way. Uh, it will. It won't be so helpful for um, for the exam. It will be. Uh, you can you can get lost. You can get overwhelmed by the by the knowledge. Uh, so a, a full term plan actually uh, was really helpful for me. But if you get efficient, you can study from four to six hours per day uh, and dedicated with the right motivation and the right environment. Uh, and not studying alone is really, really important uh, advice. Not studying alone, actually. You can make it in three months. So uh, for me, uh, I agree with all of you that six months and one year is like uh, the inflation we are facing all over the globe regarding the currency. So don't waste your time. Time is the most precious thing in this life. Your life is nothing but time. So make sure you spend it correctly and wisely. Don't waste it any time. The time that goes never come back. So this exam requires only three months with dedication. And if you work, the year will make just inflation for your knowledge. You have to be concentrated because it's like a marathon. A five hours exam marathon you don't face it every day and every now and then in your career so take care so three months is more than enough you can make an extra one month just to make steps and walk in the shoes of this exam and understand how it goes this is what is all about and a very important topic when to take the exam this is a very tricky question when in the exam timing it's January, May, or September. This is the exam timing if you are asking when to take it. And there is no difference. And some t say that uh, Indian people are getting uh, more hyped in September. So January scores are more uh, uh, relieving than September. This is not logic at all. Whenever you are ready, take the exam. Whenever you are ready mentally, uh, and financially, of course, because it's very uh, highly expensive exam for all of us and as well as you have the time take it when in your life career uh, this is a balance what is the exam value for you and this will make the answer when to take it in your life if it's valuable for you take it as early as possible is it if it's not value for you it's not to take it uh, as fast as possible so what's your point dr sanica regarding when to take this exam in your life career okay so uh, whenever you're planning to sit for the exam you have to take care of a few things uh, 
you have to make sure that you will give a dedicated time slot for the exam like uh, you cannot uh, just work and work and give one hour for your mcqs and then just think that okay i will clear the exam no it doesn't work that way it is definitely not a very easy exam it is a competitive exam so there are going to be difficult questions so you have to be disciplined you have to be dedicated you have to try and make sure that you balance your work and your studies three to four hours you have to make sure that am i ready for this commitment for the next three months second of all uh, you have to obviously make sure that you have the funds uh, resources you don't need we will talk about it uh, we have everything and uh, the third thing is uh, you should be ready to face the challenges because uh, while you prepare for this exam, you will face all the highs and lows. All your mood is going to, some days it is going to be up. You're going to feel like, okay, I'm doing it. And some days you're going to feel low that where am I going with this? Do I even know something? Uh, or am I just uh, doing nothing, going nowhere? No, you have to try to find a balance in your life. And you have to make sure that you are going to be ready for all of these challenges that you might face. You have to face challenges with the RCS. They are going to annoy you during the Pearson view bookings and stuff. So all these things are going to happen. So you have to be ready to face all of this. Another question to ask you, Dr. Seneca. You have been a great leader in the May team, and I am sure many have messaged you regarding uh, their age. Some tell you, I'm a fresh graduate, I don't have the knowledge like a, a, a general surgeon, so I can't go through this exam. So I take it now like a fresh graduate or not. And on the other hand, you have a very old senior, like a professor in his country, and telling you, Dr. Sanika, you are such a great person, great leader, and I am too old. I am Dr. Bishoy, I am very old in my country, and I am willing to take the MRCS. Do you think I can take it? Why do you, uh, what do you answer for both of them? I think they are the same currency. <laughs> you are not old, first of all, you are very young. And Thank may you. you always be young, Dr. Vishoy. Second of all, yes, I have seen uh, our candidates of various age groups. Some people who haven't even finished their primary medical qualification, they just start preparing. And there are some who are as old as 40, 45 years of age. There are some who are starting fresh. There are some who have already given exam two to three times. The uh, common thing between all of them is the desire to crack this exam. The more desire you have, the more chances of you clearing it uh, the time that you're giving it. Like, may it be the first attempt. Attempts don't matter. You're going to be as happy as you are right now in the first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, fifth attempt, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is just be true to yourself and believe that everything is going to be fine. So age doesn't matter? No, doesn't matter at all. So Dr. Ali, I will not ask you this question because you are already a fresh graduate, as you have said, right? Yes, yes, right. So did you face any problem like a fresh graduate for this exam? Actually, uh, being a fresh grad was really helpful for me. I didn't struggle and so I do much. Agree with you. Or it's a problem, by the way. Yes, actually, I see it uh, this way. But in uh, in the life career, I see and uh, when when to take the exam. Actually, I prefer as soon as possible. As soon as possible, as as soon as you have the funds and and when you make it as a priority for uh, for your career. I advise you to take the exam uh, right away. Don't hesitate. Don't make uh, uh, your knowledge or yourself. Just by, by the right plan, the right time, you can make it, actually. You know, so, if you keep waiting for the right time, the right time might never come. The right time yes. is now. Yes. Yeah. By so the right whenever plan. you think, yeah just go for it and for fresh fresh graduates uh, one of the plus points is that uh, they have recently finished their studies so they know the basic textbook knowledge they know how to get back to their studies that's a minus point with the senior surgeons but the plus point for senior surgeons are that they are disciplined when they will uh, decide that they have to give an exam they will definitely find time for it and they will find a way for it 
So if everything there are you will hear you regarding this will tell you talk about yourself regarding the septum for I have a family to take care of. <laughs> so it's not always like this for uh, the old seniors, but for the seniors, <laughs> um, and excuse me if I cut off your uh, flowing thoughts, for the seniors, they have a privilege the juniors doesn't have. In paper two, it depends on the definitive management and the first to do. The seniors, if they are a scientific seniors, they will be having the priority and the upper hand. This will take like lifetime for the junior to understand it well, uh, while on the other hand, the senior will understand it very well. It's a difference between the first to do and the different management in the management. While the juniors will have the privilege that Dr. Allen and Dr. Sanika told about that they have the basic science just fresh in their minds. So this is when to take the exam, though the age is not your limit and never wait for the right woman all your life. Just marries like everyone have married and goddamn children. Anyone have anything to do <laughs> with this topic? So let's move on on the very important topic. What are the studying material recommended? What's the study material recommended by you, Dr. Sanika? Other than our interactive guide, of course, and don't promote it in public. Keep it secret between us, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. No more interactive guide. Okay, so as Dr. Bishwai has mentioned, EMRCS, that is going to be like your Bible, like your Bhagavad Gita, everything. It is your basic textbook that you have to follow because it has almost all the concepts that you need. But some people make a mistake of just reading the MCQs and not reading the explanation don't fall into that trap please do read the explanation because sometimes they can form questions based on the explanation second of all uh, the recalls and fosia sheets they are very important uh, why because in on the rcs exam website they have mentioned that at least 20 percent of the questions are going to be from the previous years so that is what uh, you will find in the recalls and FOSIA sheets are like the basic core questions that you are going to find in every exam. 20 questions are always going, 10, not 20, 10 questions will definitely come from FOSIA. Now, according uh, to my experience from January to May, in the January exam, there was very little of past test concept applied. You did not need past test to pass the January exam. But for the May exam, the questions were much more elaborative and uh, much more detailed. And such questions, I personally did past test myself. I solved a thousand questions of past test along with my group. And they were similar to the past test topic. So for this attempt, this September attempt, I would recommend people to buy the subscription as a team. You don't have to buy it individually. Go, go in as a team. It will benefit you in many ways. I will talk about it in the later session. But yeah, past test is important. And the other uh, resources with Dr. Bishoy will continue. I have mentioned in this slide, every resources, uh, the official resources, not the, uh, the courses and the spread out data. Because if you found the MRCS data in your beginning, in your search, you will find like millions of files. In my attempt, uh, I have been digging through millions of files and uh, organized all of them and extracted uh, my own data that are available in the interactive guide and by the way i am insisting on promoting the interactive guide i'm not ashamed of it it took me lots uh, of hard work to make it uh, concise like this to make everything in one place just one click away from you and uh, that's uh, i will talk in details uh, later on but i would like to hear from dr ali what did he use in his uh, study resource and by the way the interactive guide contains every resource you require but i have recommendation already in this interactive guide but not everyone following the interactive guide and many have passed because it requires all dedication, not only the interactive guide. And by the way, the teamwork beats any guide and beats any plan because there is a spirit in this world. So Dr. Ali, tell us about your uh, study material you recommend and you have used in your experience. Uh, first of all, the, the question banks are a must. I use the interactive guide, but 
it was a complementary actually. I use uh, EMRCS uh, is is very very important. You can uh, you can uh, ignore past test in some in some uh, topics, but it's 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 as important as EMRCS. But the EMRCS is is your basic um, your basic uh, start uh, where you can build on. Um, you can use it uh, as a reference actually. If you can, if you, if you're, uh, you can, you can replace it from uh, the textbooks or uh, whatever. Uh, so, but uh, but uh, take, uh, uh, question banks are a must for me. I used question banks for the basic, and then use the interactive guide for uh, for to sum up to uh, to um, to make. Uh, to, to make a plan, how am I, how am I going? Am I going uh, good? Am I going bad? Uh, what's my direct? Uh, is it precise or not? But in 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 uh, in principles of surgery, I used uh, textbooks as a complementary. I used uh, question banks, the interactive guide, and I needed actually for me uh, as a preferred prefer as a personal preference the textbooks. I used first aid. Uh, for the basic science, uh, actually the physiology and pathology and micro and pharma. Uh, no Bailey. wonder in your exam you have 30 minutes extra uh, in your exam. Everyone hearing you in this attempt in this session uh, are so jealous from you. So don't talk to this Thank much you, about it. Thank you. So Thank you. I will advise you to keep silent about this. <laughs> Keep the secret to that. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. So, we agree now that regarding the resources, we have not all of those and those. We agree that we have EMRCS, PASSES, FAUSEA, and the recalls, and the Google and NHS and the study group. Anyone to want from our May, uh, uh, May candidates to add any one of them to any of them, I, I think those are the concise, legit resources that are needed for EMRCS exam. And the most recent question bank is better than the older ones because uh, like in 2018 during my preparation for the exam in 2019 uh, the the edition of the EMRCS was almost about 150 uh, uh, I think uh, 1500 question 1500 question uh, it's now around 2300 question around like this this is the new EMRCS and the past this is around 5,000 question. And Dr. Seneca herself have been going through more than 1,000 question by her words. So do you agree with me, uh, the whole team, that those are the legit resources they needed? Yes, Dr. Bishoy, this is the core source that you will need to crack the, the MRCS exam. Apart from this, if you try to open the big, big textbooks and all, you will definitely have to take one year or two years of reading and you really don't want to waste that much time because all in all these resources these are the key this will help you crack the exam now we have artificial intelligence if you open the ai tool in google or in nhs you can reach your explanation more faster than the textbook at all i doubt that anyone have a paper textbook in his home and use it as a main reference it will be occasionally we are all using the mobile phone why i have to prove it we are now meeting virtual meeting from all over the group so we are not having to meet in person even it's such an honor to meet every one of you but there is no lifetime to meet every one of us in the personal life but we can always have a virtual meeting so this is the ai tool study smart not hard so whenever a topic faces you during your study in your study material go for google and google it faster than going for the text unless it's very very hard to understand from google and require a very specific source to understand do you agree with me yes also chat gpt it's the chat gpt era right now <laughs> everyone yes. believes in chat gpt Yes, and the Apple view vision. <laughs> so take care. So, were there any secret bank? I will tell you something. 
if I use the EMRCS question bank and put it in a format and named it like the Pichu Bank or the Seneca Bank or the Ali Bank, this is a secret bank, yet it's not my creation. So don't get deceived by the names. There is no rabbit in the head of the magician. Take care. There is no rabbit in the head of the magician. It has been always there. It's not created out of nowhere. So there is no secret bank. Do you think there is a secret bank, Dr. Sanika or Dr. Ali, after finishing your exam? No, there is no secret bank. And you will find lots of resources out there. You will find lots of recalls. This A recall, B recall, C recall. And you will feel like downloading all of them. But then you will feel overwhelmed. Don't do that. They will hunt you down and tell you, Dr. Sanika, please don't share my records. <laughs> Dr. Sanika, don't share them. And pew, 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 they will cut you down and hunt you before your exam. Before your exam, you will be hunted. You are sharing oh. my own records. You are <laughs> going to be doomed. You are going to hell. It's my business. Exactly. Yes. So my personal advice, just follow a set of recalls that you know you can finish. Don't try to find new, new resources. It will just confuse you more and more. So who is Fauzia? No one entered MRCS and didn't know about Fauzia and talk about it. Who is Fauzia? And what is her secret? Fauzia is a group of questions that some angels created for us. Like really, the questions that uh, they had created, they are very high yield. And exactly the same questions we face in the exam. I mean, no value change, no word change. How about you, Dr. Ali? What is your Fauzea for you? What is Fauzea for you? I think Fauzea was a, a combination or a compilation of um, of basic principles from me, Marcus, and, uh, and the other question banks. But uh, for me, it's like uh, the basic keys or the, or the concept keys for uh, for studying. It's like a guidance where to study and where, uh, what to study and what not. But it's not like a, 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 a holy thing to follow or or, uh, or the questions that come exactly in the in the in the exam. So simply, Fauzia is just a recall edition of the past years, just like your edition you have been preparing with all your friends. And by the way, by law, the Royal College uh, saying that collecting records is prohibited by law. So take care. But you see it's a business if the records are not collected if the people are not going to succeed in this exam so no one will enter mrts why i paid so high money if i'm not going to pass this exam so they know that we know that they know that we know that they are records of the exam so this is just a record uh, edition for the exam what is a record if you are not familiar with this word the record is just Dr. Bishoy have entered the exam and came out and tell his friend, Dr. Sanika, in my exam came one, two, three questions about one, two, three options and one, two, three topic. So take care because they might come in your exam and Dr. Sanika enter her exam and find those questions exactly like Dr. Bishoy. And so on, Dr. Sanika come and recall her question in the exam and tells the fellow surgeon. This is the whole about, about the records. So. A very important question and logic to be asked after all of these talking about the data material. Where to find the data? Tell me, Dr. Sanika, you are a leader. I heard a lot about you from all my team. They are thanking you like tons and you are competing with Dr. Bishoy. He is threatened from you. So tell me where to find the data. I myself used Dr. Bishoy's data. Like uh, I used his interactive guide to the fullest. Also, I had my personal uh, subscriptions for EMRCS and fast test. That's it. For recalls also, Dr. Bishoy had uploaded everything that I needed. I did not have to look for anything else. So we have the offline data and the online data. Our data is online. The offline data are not prohibited from anyone. It's spread it in our groups, the Facebook group and the um, the telegram group and by the way they are like a hidden treasure if you try to search any question in any of those group you will find it discussed and answered already 
with illustrations from many candidates along the years. So the offline data are already found, but I don't have the time to reorganize it everywhere to be downloaded because I don't want you to be flooded with millions of files. Our online data is frequently uploaded and frequently updated in the interactive guide already. And this is not a promotion at all. We have three uh, plans according to the exam, September, April, January. And again, it's not a promotion. It's our right. It's our meeting. We have to do whatever we take because we are the bad league. Okay. Dr. Ali, do you agree with us? What the source of your data? I used uh, the groups actually, but was was really helpful for me. Uh, it was rich in, uh, in material. I didn't have to look uh, on the other sites or on Google, uh, on Facebook group. Uh, there's plenty of resor resources uh, on the interactive guide. Mainly, mainly the the extra MCQ books were were, were really helpful for me, uh, and the mocks was uh, was sufficient for me. Dr. Ali, do you agree that the main uh, data that was there was the discussion that took place between us? Like you used to post a question and we used to discuss and discuss and that used to be our data for the exam. Yes, actually, it's, well, it will, it's really, really important to have uh, a discussion. To, uh, you can be tunnel visioned easily if you, if you, if you skip the, uh, the discussions. Tunnel vision, tunnel vision is not... Is not um, it's not efficient actually you can uh, uh, you can make mistakes by your own uh, there is no one to uh, guide you or or or, uh, or sharing uh, sharing information is is is, uh, is actually important so from your words now it will be a leading question to why some great surgeon didn't pass from the first attempts was there a defect in the plan or the material or the consistency or the revision or the sharing what not to do and this is what we have to talk about never to study alone and never use a textbook without mcq bank never lose your schedule nor skip a mock never test yourself before studying and never forget to revise your study it's all about studying then revising and examining yourself so never study all the files as well we have promoted every new bank never waste time in a low bulk hard new question and never make the exam day your first time the very first time it's a very nightmare you don't have to face alone never depend on courses even if you take one because even if they spoon feed you, they will not take the exam instead of you. So never distract yourself with early days with many study routines. Dr. Bishoy has his study routine. Dr. X has his study routine. Dr. Y has his study routine. Please understand and keep believing in one routine and go for it. Don't distract yourself. Never stop believing in this new study style that you are studying the MCQ and the explanation and searching for more regarding the explanation of this MCQ. You are not studying from a textbook and never give up helping others. And anything from you, Dr. Seneca, would be added to the never to do list would help. Yes. So uh, the first point, uh, never to study alone always study in a group because there are lots of benefits of studying together the first one being accountability when you're studying together you are accountable for your actions whenever you decide that you're going to follow a schedule together then you will 100 percent follow it also studying in a group will help you revise repeat the same topics again and again and again if you read it only once you are definitely going to forget it on your exam day but when you study in a group, someday this person, uh, like candidate A has a question in this question, uh, in this uh, particular concept. Then candidate B has a similar question in this concept. So it gives you a better exposure. 
then second of all never rely on textbooks we are not into studying our mbbs right now we have moved forward so knowing the uh, mrcs pattern is enough for you to crack mrcs so that's why familiarize yourself with the question bank and just follow it just believe in the question bank second of all mocks you should you are actually blessed to have so many mocks in front of you that are free of charge and they are nicely planned according to each and every topic so just follow them it will keep you oriented and it will clear all of your concepts and keep you on track uh, a lot of time people ask me that should i just uh, try to test myself before uh, studying particular topic i tell them no don't need to do that because it will waste your time and it will also demotivate you you will think that oh i thought i knew this much but then i scored so less don't do that your time is precious so do your homework first and then go ahead test yourself about revision no matter uh, how much time you put in one topic if you put 3 days in one topic but it's your brain after all you will have to give it a revision it will help uh, the information to stay with you on the exam day so always revise revise and revise old files so a lot of our previous colleagues have been so generous by sharing their resources but don't go back to very old files like 2017 2018 2019 you don't need them you are in 2023 now uh, rely on the most recent resources we have all of them just follow them uh the exam day as your first mock don't do that it will scare you a lot you have to keep solving mocks as your daily routine make it your routine so that on the exam day it feels like a regular mock mock session and it is less exertive less stressful now never fully depend on a course i can tell this out of my own experience because the course will give you materials it gives you fully updated materials they have everything on their drive but at the end they are never going to be responsible for your progress you are responsible for your own progress so if you have joined a course that's a very good thing you have all the materials but then it's your responsibility to always assess yourself how are you doing are you better than yesterday your competition is not with your colleagues your competition is with yourself and how will you compete with yourself by just progressing assessing revising and everything uh your initial days like your first few days are your uh brick stones they are most crucial they are your groundwork your foundation and it has to be strong so if you work hard in your initial days you will tackle lots of questions towards the end of your exam it's very important to believe in what you do because if you don't believe in what you're doing you're going nowhere if you don't believe in what you're doing you will end up uh, depressed anxious and not only you maybe you will make your a partner feel the same way don't do that just believe in yourselves results you will not see in one day or one week you need time so believe it may seem unusual uncomfortable but just believe that you are going on the right track and never refuse from helping others remember you and your team it's you that are you are together in this journey it's a journey it's not just an exam consider it as a journey so when you will give help you will receive help tenfold you cannot imagine how much help you will receive when you just give one help so the more you help the more you are revising your own concepts and you are helping your friends too so it's a win and win situation no one is losing in this so these are my small advices that i wanted to give to all my dearest september colleagues it's a leading queen speech indeed dr sanika very very uh, inspiring indeed so dr ali do you have any addition for never to do list uh, i prefer to call it uh, a must to do list okay let's uh, go for it what did the must be done for this exam Uh, study in a group. Study in uh, study in a group. Uh, always ask why. Never be arrogant uh, to uh, uh, to skip questions or uh, or um, or uh, uh, staying away from the group uh, to uh, if you, for the fear for underestimating yourself. Uh, notes are very important. Your own notes. 
your own notes by your hand you'll never forget it you will evaluate yourself daily by it you will know you will know your weaknesses this is the most important part studying questions is not like memorizing the question hoping uh, it will come in, in the exam as the same concept the same uh, the same answers no study the question as why why this is the answer why uh, the others are not the answer how it will present uh, how uh, how the case will present in the exam what are the most common focus on the most common presentations this is the never uh, never focus on rare occasions or uh, or the hard presentations and and uh, the, the the complicated puzzles uh, never ever never underestimate your uh, yourself or your, your knowledge uh, i i never evaluated myself until uh, the first uh, until the last week uh, before the exam uh, the courses are not really a must the interactive guide guide was was, was uh, really enough for me uh, and uh, work as a team never work alone work as a team ask why taking your own notes uh, and um, and ask why always Totally agree with you, Dr. Ali. Totally agree with you. Those are true pills of wisdom. You cracked uh, this exam very well. Yes, your Thank own you, self screenshots are the true treasure of this exam uh, beside your study group. Uh, those are those uh, are the pillars and the true treasure of this exam. So the five magical S secrets, the study group, the screenshot, the sharing, and searching in Google and searching the NHS and the NICE guideline. Those are the magical five secrets for the study plan. And again, the rabbit is not created out of the head of the magician. It has been always there, the five secrets of the Marcias. Study in a group, screenshot, gold mine, and share and search. What are the pillar topics in the exam? We have studied and discussed together uh, the whole point regarding the market distribution. So was it legit regarding the exam? Let's discuss together the pillar topics that must come in the exam. You have to understand this exam is about five main topics, anatomy, trauma, orthopedics, preoperative, and postoperative. Those are overlapping, and the first and second and third topic will be anatomy. It has only 75 questions, pure question, other than the overlapping already with every chapter. The anatomy is your key in this exam. I get so annoyed when I see someone he didn't pass and when I see his mark distribution I find that the anatomy was his lowest mark there is no one passed this exam and didn't pass anatomy it's your score vault it's your mark bank do you agree with me Dr. Sanika Dr. Ali yes I agree completely yes totally agree so what are the master question in the exam in this slide those are the secret and by the way this secret is already declared by the royal college itself in their mark distribution just made them up in a fancy slide and named them the master question by bishoy this is what is the course is all about so let's discuss you will have 50 questions at least talking about the dermatomes lymphatic drainage limb and in, in nerve injuries vertebral level foramen of the skull and the embryology as well as in the physiology you will never miss an exam without an abg electrolyte imbalance glass coma scale ecg vitamins and the electrolyte imbalance in the sayeda and its differential and the respiratory function do you agree with me dr sanika and dr ali G yes. those questions came in the exam yes true. yes yes dr bishoy Actually, the most uh, important part the, the wound yeah. management yeah. burn yeah. equation with the uh, but this exam didn't contain a burn equation but it has a question about burn not a burn equation yes. but it has question about burn yes there was a burn equation oh, there was yes there was a yeah, burn yeah, equation there was there was yeah. so, quite simple but yes there was a uh, so they will they, ask you that this much of a uh, forearm is affected and stuff there was one question yes how about the skin lesions the fracture pattern the pediatric orthopedics congenital git and coagulation profile all of those were asked in the exam yeah yes, one no, of my no, secrets 
I uh, took a screenshot of this uh, exact slide that Dr. Bishoy made, and then I wrote it on my whiteboard. And I religiously followed it because I knew that each and every question might come, and it did come. Like 90% of all these topics came. So thank you a lot, Dr. Vishoy, for this. So you already knew 50 questions from the 300 question before you are going to your exam. Yes. I actually used this slide uh, for uh, revising before the in the last uh, 10 days before the exam. So let's add for them the 75 pure anatomy question you have not to lose. So we are talking about 125 questions from the exam. And at least, in the very least, at least 30 questions are record based. So you have entered this exam with 160 questions, at least statistically, from this exam, pre exam. You have no 160 questions from the exam if you have followed the rules. It's not a secret, again, just to play it smart. Do you agree with me, Dr. Sanika? Yes, I, I agree. Nothing is a secret. Everything is just crystal clear. You just have to follow it. You can see it for yourself. This is the Royal College, as I said. The, it's declared in your application. If you go through the Royal College uh, main site, you will find those slides. It's not mine. Just I highlighted them. So Let's talk about the pass rate of the exam. Regarding the pass rate of the exam, many ask me, Dr. Bishoy and Dr. Seneca and Dr. Ali, what do you think the cut-off mark for this exam? Dearest, it's a competition exam. We all go through the exam and they have a cut-off, 30% of the candidates will pass. So they are doing like a bell curve. So the highest mark, marking a bell curve and then we have 30 percent of the candidates or 35 percent according to their equation so not all pass so everyone will get a pass mark but not the pass school so everyone entering this exam the least one getting 50 percent if you are getting less than 50 percent you have a problem you have to address it and by the way, the normal value and the normal uh, failure rate around the 60%. This means you are not bad at all. You just need the score required to pass by the competition. And by the way, some got in the last of May, the cutoff around 36%, I guess. This is a historical because uh, in 2020, September, this was a historical high pass score around 78%. And do you think a 78% to pass is better or 63? Of course, 63. Why? Because it's easier? No. The exam was harder and the questions were newer. This made those who studied and understood the question and the concept more legit to win their fight than those who just memorized the question and entered, voila, to fill in their public sheet. So don't think about passing rate if you so think about the exam that i have to get in my routine around 70 percent to pass or 80 percent to pass you will never pass at all it's a competition exam you have to enter the exam as if you are getting the 300 question all of them right and you can do it because everyone did it before and you are not uh, less than anyone else you are going to be a surgeon the surgeon is ready for the surgical surprises so give it all and try your best i want to hear from you dr sanika and you are a leading for may group and dr ali uh, in advance about your boss rate in the exam point of view okay so uh, again i'm not promoting but i am actually very happy to see a lot of our may candidates clear it in their first attempt it was not because we knew what the questions are going to be. No, it was because of our group effort. And uh, I have always been recommending the September candidates to follow the same. That is the key, the group efforts. Just solve together, study together, and you will move forward together. And I literally saw this happening with our May group. Initially, everyone was scared. Many people did not know the pattern. They used to ask me, Sanika, how do I do this? Sanika, what do you think? What plan should I follow? Sanika, what should I do? Sanika, I don't understand this. But then the key is the same. 
all the things that we discussed, it's the same. We just have to keep following it and keep believing in the process. The process is long. The journey is long. But as long as you believe, you can do it. The pass rate keeps changing. In January, it was 205. I lost by just three marks. I scored 202. Am I sad about it? Yes, I am sad about it. But am I depressed about it or am I still crying over it? No, because that was not in my hand. The passing rate was not in my hand. And that is our life. That is the doctor's life. These are competitive exams. These keep happening. Life keeps going on. Pass rates keep changing. The May exam was a difficult one. But since a lot of our candidates knew the concepts, they applied the logic in the particular direction and they got it. So I advise you all, the September candidates, just follow the same thing and I'm sure you'll get it. How about you, Dr. Ali? I see uh, the first rate is a really big uh, topic, but uh, the main concept here was is the teamwork. Uh, never leave uh, anyone behind. Stay, stay, uh, stick with each other, help each other. Uh, and you'll uh, you'll get uh, the best of luck actually. But uh, I I really hope I I really hope to stick to the concept uh, of the most easy, the most efficient, the most simple way to get the highest mark possible. Never focus on uh, the uh, the post mark or uh, or the least possible mark to pass and uh, and move on. No, you can you you must focus on the most easy and most simple most simple way and most efficient way to get the most possible uh, or the best possible score. So you can uh, so you want to be disappointed at yourself. This is uh, a knowledge for yourself uh, at the end of the road. So don't think about the million reasons that will make it doesn't happen and keep struggling for the only reason that will make it happen. And let's make it happen all together. This is the pass rate of the exam. And as Dr. Seneca said, your colleagues aren't your enemies, aren't your competition. Your competition is with yourself. Your colleagues are in fact your power to all together go for it. So do you need course or not? I think it's now clear the answer for this question. Do you need course or not? This is your mind. The course will offer you one thing, organizing the time, just like the interactive guide, giving you day by day routine you have to follow. And believe me, many took the courses and didn't admit the live sessions and always take the pre-recorded uh, videos and pre-recorded sessions. So they will not take the exam for you. They will just give you organization. That's what we offer you in the interactive guide. So keep it in mind and answer the question honestly between yourself, what you need for yourself and your life. So let's now have an open discussion with our friends if anyone have any question can raise his hand and we can all thank dr sanika dr ali and all our candidates who are present with us here who have passed the exam and joining our celebration and we'll be happy to hear from all of them i can't um, know uh, how to find all of them to uh, dr obadiah if here i would like to hear from him and dr the charming Dr. Charmin, I will be happy to hear from her if she is here. And uh, if anyone have any question, we'll be happy. If Dr. Sanika or Dr. Ali have a uh, final state statement they will, would like to share with us, they have already shared a lot. And believe me, every word Dr. Sanika and Dr. Ali told us now is a barrel of wisdom from a true experience, honest, true experience. They are true leaders and they have been leading the May team. Dr. Sanika, do you have any statement you want to say? I mean, I, I said everything already. I think people will get bored of me just speaking and speaking. But really, guys, uh, use your September subgroup to the fullest. Dedicate these three months, and you cannot imagine the happiness that you will feel in October. That is your result day. So use it to the fullest. Don't be shy. I understand a few people are shy uh, to talk with unknown people 
just remember that no one is a stranger everyone is is in this journey and for everyone this journey is very important so if you work together in this journey you all can pass together and that is the best feeling that you can get yes together we can with the grace of god thank you dr sanika and you, dr ali would be happy to hear from you a final statement the critical uh, the critical advice is here are uh, studying in, in, in a group, leave no one behind, and uh, look for the most simple and most efficient way to get uh, the most the most uh, or the best uh, score possible. This is the most important thing I can I can say. So wisely said, Doctor Ali. So now we will stop this recording and we'll start another recording uh, to be easily uh, organized when we share this uh, video after your permission.